Welcome to Wix Design Her. I am Ruth Ann Bowen and we are so excited to have you here. And if you are looking to raise the bar on your website and your business, then please go ahead and hit subscribe to Wix Design Her. Just click the button right down below. Today we have a very exciting guest. I'm so excited to have her here. Her name is Kathy Olson and she actually has um, been designing for over 18 years. And some of her clients include multi-million dollar corporations such as Costco, Best Buy, McDonald's, Disney. She's done an entire, entire business based on what she calls high-end design. And so she is going to explain to us in just a little bit what that is about. But I wanted to make sure I mentioned to you, she also has something called the Inspired Pro Academy. Please go check it out. And Kathy, you can tell us a little bit about what that is, but it's basically an online program where she teaches people how to do high-end design. So we are so grateful to have Kathy here. Thank you so much for joining us and for being on Wix Designer. Oh, I'm so honored to be here. Love it. Thank you. I love talking design, so <laughs> I'm yeah, here. <laughs> that's great. So before I forget, um, Give yourself a plug, a little plug here for the Inspired Pro, because it's a great program. So tell us all about it. Yeah, I'd almost rather wait till the end, because I don't think oh, it'll make sense until, <laughs> right, until we talk about high-end design and kind of what it looks like. Um, I, yeah, I kind of rather like say, okay, remember what we talked about, like that type of thing? Cause all right, well, let's it, do that. Okay. It might be a little over their head, just, just unless we've explained what, we've, what we're talking about. <laughs> Got you. Okay, so stay tuned, because she'll tell us at the end what that's all about. So, okay, great. Let's kickstart this then with what is high-end design? Yeah. So high end design, at least the way that, that I say, what, what I say is high end design um, is just really like an elevated level of design. It's a more valuable version of design. It's a more expensive version of design, but it's also more lucrative on the other side. It actually increases conversions and builds businesses and, you know, does amazing things. So it's not just any, any old design. It's really, it's highly strategic and it's highly customized and it's highly intentional design. Oh, that all sounds really good, which is all of the things that we want as business owners is to grow our businesses, obviously from our websites and design and, and not just design, but really good design right. is what helps draw those conversions. Um, so tell us a little bit, what does a high-end design then look like as compared to just maybe using a template? I think that's almost, it's, it's the anti-template, right? Yeah. I mean, it's almost easier to, to comprehend what high-end design is by, by what it isn't. Because if you're looking at templates, stuff that you've seen, you know, kind of dime a dozen design, right? We've seen it over and over and over again. It looks like a template, feels like a template. Um, it's not very customized. You can just kind of tell when someone has a website that they just kind of, you know, threw some stuff into it feels it feels really stuffy and modular right like it feels like boxy mm -hmm. um so high-end design is sort of the opposite of that right it feels like more organic it feels more real life it doesn't you don't you kind of almost forget you're in a pixel world right at that point because it starts to feel very experiential uh, it has a lot of mood and emotion and feeling like it's just the anti you know template cookie cutter thing, right? It's the, it's the opposite. It feels very cared for, very intentional, you know, very detailed, all those kind of things and very thoughtful. Okay. That sounds good. So yeah. as someone is going along and designing their own website, let's say they're, they're doing a DIY, but they want to try and incorporate some of these high-end techniques. What, what's one way that they can add to their website a design element that they can add to their website that would make it look more high-end yeah i gosh there's so many ways i'm like trying to like think of, think of the one thing that i could say um what well, one of the things i think that is the most powerful way to do it like one of the things that like you have to have to have to do is to really think about the end user and like and where are they the journey that you want to take them on mm -hmm. so sometimes we just sort of, we don't really know how to present the information. So we just present it. We just say, okay, here's all the things I've got. 
what do you think? You know, um, where I think that's a big mistake. And I think that's a, it's a, it's an easy beginner mistake too. It's something that, you know, we just don't, we just don't know until we know it, right? Until, until the veil's kind of been open on it. Um, but if you're really thinking intentionally about how someone is walking through your site and just almost pretend as if you're face to face and you're explaining your service or your product or, um, or whatever, whatever you're, whatever you have on the site and you're actually walking them through and you're being intentional and, th and thinking of them each step of the way. So for example, if they get to your site, a lot of people just start off showing their stuff and they don't realize that, okay, when someone comes to my site, maybe they don't even know who I am. Maybe they don't even know my offerings. Maybe they don't even know what I do. And they, maybe they don't even know if I'm for them and they might just close it because if they get too overwhelmed and not sure kind of what you do and they're super confused, they're just going to close the window. So like the first step would be, okay, pretend I don't know anything about you. How can we like say, okay, here, here, here's who you are. Here's what I have. And here's how we can work together. Like those are some of the things that it's not even, it, it does, the design comes about, but it's almost a foundational thing that you have to have, like to make the design work really well is to think, okay, how can we actually talk to them, let them know what we do and make sure that this process is really smooth and they understand, you know, it's kind of like a usability thing. And once you kind of have that down, you'll know exactly how to design for it because you're, you'll design in a thoughtful way. Right, right. So that's going back to intentional design, like you were right. talking about earlier. Right, right. So basically, knowing what your goal is for your website, and then designing mm -hmm. in such a way so that you're accomplishing that goal. Right. Yeah, exactly. So um, it's not, yeah, not, not so much of an aesthetic thing because that will go kind of first, but I just think it's so foundational and so important for really powerful and high-end design to be just very intentional and thoughtful. And there's little things you can do too. Like you can have like little tips, you know, or you can have um, like not sure where to go or want to know more. I mean, stuff like just little things like that, where you're actually having a conversation with them and kind of, you know, going back and forth. Okay, here's, I, here's what I think you need, or here's your choice or like learn more about this and just being very conversational and, and, and casual, kind of like you would talk to a real person. I think those little tweaks make a huge difference. Yeah. Yeah. And usually it's the little ones that do, right? It's those little yeah. things that we do. The design is in the details, right? <laughs> yeah. And it, but it makes it feel, I think that's what makes it feel um, so, so customized too, because mm -hmm. you would never find a template that is that, you know, friendly and open and specific and detailed, right? You, when you go, when you find a template, it's like, okay, you know, portfolio services, right? Where this is a more hands-on, like I'm holding your hand approach. But when you do it that way, it feels very custom and very high high end because it's like almost like a concierge service, right? Like, like we, we're, we're here to help you and it's just very uh, customer focused. Right, right. It's user focused, yeah. not me focused. Yes, exactly. That's, mm -hmm. that's where I think that a lot of uh, people struggle when they, when they, especially with templates and stuff too. How, how do we customize this so it feels friendly? How do we make it feel like me? How do we make it authentic, right? It's those little things, just shifting and actually talking to people and not just like everyone, you know, talking to specific people that really helps it, you know, hone in on exactly on who, can, who you can help. Right. Okay. So knowing who you're talking to is very important. And then actually talking to yes. them via your website, even though it's a digital platform, still being conversational, understanding what they're talking about, what their issues are, what your, what their problems mm -hmm. are and how you can solve them and speaking to them in yeah. your voice. Okay. Those are all great tips. Um, from a design perspective, give us a little tip from an aesthetic look what are some things we can do to make our sites look prettier? Yeah, I think that the biggest thing is I always figure out kind of, I do, I do my, la my design in layers. So I kind of do basically the first layer would be what we just talked about, have kind of building that foundation and making sure that the functionality is there, right? Because that's like the, because you can, you know, make a, a unfunctional site really pretty and no one's going to get past the first page and they're not going to see all your hard work if, if you don't do that foundational piece. So I would say like, that's the first layer is thinking through the usability. You know, how do we walk them through this process? How do we make this feel very high end and very like a great experience, right? So that's the first, the first layer. And then the second layer, I would kind of backtrack and, and go away from the functionality. And that's when I would start to focus on my brand. And that's where I would think, okay, I need to come up with some colors. I need to come up with some styles, some mood and feel, you know, pull together some textures some different graph treatments and I do that 
totally separately from the website. So if I'm trying to design while I'm building the website, I find, at least for me as a creative, that it very much hinders my creative juices, right? If I'm trying to, it's like you're trying to problem solve and it's almost like left brain and right brain at the same time, right? When you're doing tech and you're trying to, you know, build something, that's your like left brain. And then you're trying to be really, you know, out there and creative and do something different at the same time it's like your brain is just it's just ah it's just overload mm -hmm. and so i think what ends up happening is the left brain wins a little bit because you're kind of functionality tech like i just need to build this thing mm -hmm. and so that's where it starts to feel less like artistic and it starts to feel like more utilitarian right so that's why i pull back the second layer is really about branding and building and just letting your creative artist go and just giving her a chance <laughs> to just soar and just do all the things without thinking about code or tech or anything right so that's why i always build a brand board and i, I love pinterest for this you can just go into pinterest and start pinning a bunch of things that you love, like a bunch of colors that you love that speak to you, um, some photographs, like maybe it's just like an outfit or maybe it's an interior. I love doing interior designs because I think that they have so many styles mixed in there that we can kind of pull from. Um, and then as, after you start pinning a whole bunch of stuff, you can start to see all these, these commonalities among them. Oh, wow, I really like geometric shapes. Oh, wow, I love like crisp linens. Oh my gosh, I, I, I love go the color gold, right? Like you can start to see these patterns and then you can start getting rid of things that don't match. But once you come up with that little brand board, then now I have a literal design roadmap that I have that, you know, I have my structure built. Now I have my design cool elements built. Now I can bring the two together. Now that I've given my left brain the, the chance and then I now I've given my right brain the chance to do their thing. Now they can like come together like in the synergy and really make something amazing. And, and that's what that, that layered approach um, kind of allows you to do. And I also, once I actually am designing, I, I design in layers too. So I, I do kind of passes, almost like you would do with, with copy. Like if you were writing, you'd have like a rough draft and then you start to edit it and change. And then maybe you'd move some sections around, kind of the same idea um, with that. So I take those two, put them together, and then I kind of just check, go over it a few times to, to kind of work things out. Great. That is fabulous advice. Okay. So what we want to do then is as we approach designing our websites, we want to take the functional approach first, the techie side and figuring mm -hmm. it out. And then we apply the branding to it. So once we have the functionality and the user experience down, then we can add in all the colors and branding and all of the design aspects to it then. And then that's what's yes. going to be with our pretty powerful website, right? Yeah. Yes, because then I think it's both ways. If you're trying to do both at once, it's, it's like, I guess it's almost like multitasking, but you just don't do as good of a job. But every single time that I've given them both are separate sections and I've given them both, you know, like I said, they're, they're, they're room to soar and get creative and then bring them together. It always has a better result. Nice. It's amazing. Yeah. Nice. That's, that's how I do it. That's, that's the secret. <laughs> that's, okay. that's how I get that look. I don't, because I think people think the designers uh, especially like high-end designers, I think they just, they just will go through it and just, they're just shaping it as they go and they don't like make mistakes and they don't like have other, like, I think they just think, you know, you took this and you just, there's my final product. And I just designed it all at once, but that's not the case. There are these like steps that I go through every single time in order to get that final result. Mm, great. And, and the end results for your sites are fabulous. So thank you for sharing your secret with us. Thank you. <laughs> I'm an okay. open book. Nowadays, I just, I just want to share everything with everyone. <laughs> uh, well, we're grateful that you do. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. So um, getting back then to Inspired Pro, tell us a little bit about what that's about and how people can connect with you and join that. Yeah, so I created Inspired Pro because I think there's 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 a huge gap in between uh, basically like a mid level designer and the high end designers, and most high end designers that are charging like premium prices that are doing this very you know strategic uh, conversion based kind of design stuff, they're usually working for agencies, right? Like they've got snatched up a long time ago. And they're working for agencies, so there's not a ton of people that own their own businesses that are kind of demanding those higher prices. And I do think it has to do a lot with women. You know, we're very, we love people and we love what we do. And it's very hard for us to ask for what we deserve, right? Like I, I would say probably 
gosh, nine and a half out of 10 women that I ask entrepreneurs are not, they're not valuing their work as much as they should. Right. So it's just, an, it's just a problem because I know that there's, there's, you know, we have the talent it's unlocked it, because it, it, it basically it creates this whole thing. Right. So we, we, uh, we don't charge enough. So then we have to take on too many clients and then we get overwhelmed. Right. And then we're not creative anymore because we're just like hustle, 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 churning out stuff. We don't give ourselves a chance for that white space. So it, there is a different way and there is, but it's really hard to, it was hard for me to find at least. So I created inspired pro basically out of what I did, you know, it was my journey that I was that overworked diamond dozen designer. You know, I, I didn't know how to charge my worth. I didn't know how to find clients that would pay that. I just thought everybody just wanted templates and, you know, didn't want to pay a lot of money. And so it was, it took me several years to kind of crack the code on what, what were these high-end designers doing? And I finally did. And, and I've had a successful, you know, run with my company. My company's 10 years old today or not today. Sorry, this year. <laughs> that would be awesome if it was today, yeah, but no, it's not this year. I mean, <laughs> oh, so this year is 10 years old. It was, it was in May. Um, but basically this is what I finally figured out. It's like, I finally figured out how to get out of that, like kind of rat race of, of designers and just really push myself up, um, you know, past everybody else, you know, uh, asking, a, you know, way more than most people, but also being really valued and getting amazing clients. Like I, it was just kind of a process that I had to like, you know, sharpen up and refine. And so that's when I created inspired pro just to teach that because I kind of was like, as a, as an industry, someone needs to do something about this and raise this bar. And if I don't do it, you know, who else is going to do it? You know, that type of thing. So it was hard for me because I'm teaching people exactly what I do in my business. But then I really had to have that abundance mindset and just think, you know what, there's plenty of people that need this help. There's plenty of amazing designers out there. You know, there's so much talent to go around. Like I need to share this information. And so that's what Inspired Pro is about. It's, it's basically half and half. It's um, half, you know, how do we run a design business? How do we get the clients? How do we make the money? You know, how do we do the contracts and, you know, all, all the emails and how do we sell them on the phone and, you know, how do we do all those things? And then the other half is like, okay, now that we've sold them and we've made the sale, how do we fulfill this in a high end way? How do we actually give them right. better design and a better website or, better, or whatever you're creating? And so that's the other half is all design stuff and how to actually elevate your design and, and sharpen your talent. Nice. Very, yeah. very nice. So yeah. what I will do then is in the comments below, I will put the link so that people can find out more information about that, if that's okay. Yeah, of course. And then they can contact you and um, find out more. So, because it's a great program. I, I, um, I myself have been an, inspire, I'm an inspired pro, so I'm yeah. proud to be there. Um, but I highly recommend it if you're looking for uh, help, like she said, if you're trying to find help from a design standpoint or building your business standpoint, um, it really is, it's a great program to be in. So um, any last things that you would like to say? Yeah, I was just because the, the link that I'll give you is actually, a, it's a class. So it's a mass, it's a free class that they can take. So it'll, it'll talk more, a little bit more about, you know, what high-end design is, what high-end desi designers do, and what are the possibilities so they can start thinking like, what would this look like for my business? Um, so that's what I'll send you. But yeah, any, any last things is just, um, gosh, just get, just give yourself that time. Just, I guess, appreciate the, the talent that you have, right? I think that there's, there's kind of a gap in between, you know, we don't feel like we're good enough and we're not charging enough and this and that. But I think that if you just trust yourself and give yourself some time, and if, if you're a beginner, that's totally fine. Everyone started somewhere, right? We can't compare. I've been a designer, like, like he's, I've been a professional designer for 18 years, but I've been doing it for 20, like, to, you know, but like forever. Um, so, it, you know, it's just, I, everyone's always growing. I'm still growing. Even after 20 years, I'm growing. So wherever you're at is okay. You know, don't look at someone, don't compare yourself to anybody else. You'll, you'll get there. Just trust in yourself, you know, let yourself be as creative as you want to be, believe in yourself and just keep going. Just don't give up. Cause I know there's so many design, the people that want to be designers, but when it comes to, you know, making money from art, it's a very weird thing. Like people don't really it's not like a real job or, you know, those things. So trust yourself. You can make good money. You can have amazing clients, you know, um, or if you're just designing for yourself, you can, you can do it, right. You can make an amazing site for yourself. You know, you don't have to hire somebody for it, all that good stuff. I just want to like empower people to believe in themselves. <laughs> no, that's a lot, but, uh, 
that's, that's awesome. that, that, that would be what I would really want to tell people, to be honest. <laughs> I think that's awesome. That is just, what a great note to end on. So positive and empowering. That, that was perfect. Thank you for sharing that with us. And thank you for sharing your talents with us. Of course. Um, I, I, for one, am very appreciative and just wish you all the best and success as you move forward with Inspired Pro and your business. So thank, thank you, you again. Thank you, and I do, of course. <laughs> thank, oh, thanks. Thank you for being on Wix Design Her. And again, for those of you who are either joining us for the first time or you're here for the third episode, which this is, um, please hit subscribe. We would love to have you continue the conversation with us here at Wix Design Her, where we are helping raise the bar. RAISE stands for, in case you didn't know, RAISE stands for resources, advice, inspiration, support, and encouragement. And that's what we're here to do to help you raise the bar when it comes to your website. So click subscribe and we will see you next time. Thanks.